Hello everyone, this is Sashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem max min. You will be given a list of integers array and a single integer k. You must create an array of length k from elements of array such that its unfairness is minimized. Call that array unfairness of an array is calculated as a maximum of array dash minus a minimum of array dash. Array uh, dash means so uh, you can able to consider it as a newly created array by ourselves. So here they have just explained it and we have an example. So in this array if we consider 1, 4, 7, 2 means uh, we have to create an array of size 2. So we have to pick any two numbers. So they have picked randomly like 4 and 7. If you consider the maximum of this array is uh, 7 and the minimum of array is 4, so 7 minus 4 is 3. So this is not the minimum. So if you test all the pass means the solution will be 1 and 2 because the difference will be 1. So that's how it works and the integers may not be unique. So that is also a noted point. Let's see some constraints. Here n can go up to 10 to the power of 5 and array can go up to 10 to the power of 9. So I think we have to solve this in uh, n log n or uh, n square. n square is the maximum. I don't know whether uh, it will be solvable. Maybe some time limit exceed may happen if you code the solution in uh, n square. That is the brute force one. Now we are going to solve it in uh, n log n because uh, we are going to sort the array and after that we are going to pick the elements. So here in this array after we sort it means 10, 20 and 30 will be there and uh, k is uh, 3. So what I am going to do is I will take one element and uh, increment it by 3. Like I will get the difference. So 10 means uh, 10 plus uh, 2 that is 30. So 30 minus 10 is 20. Like that I will take the difference. Like this I will traverse all the elements in the array and uh, try to get the minimum of it. So why I am doing like uh, 10 plus 2 means uh, we have to keep track of the index. We have to just uh, choose only 3 numbers based on k. So here it is 20 and here k is 4. So 4 numbers are there. So from 1 to 4 I will just take and uh, the difference is 3 and here another one is there so here two ones are there so i will just take the difference one minus one is uh, zero so the result will be zero that's how it works so this is a greedy problem uh, most of the solutions you can able to see we always uh, sort the solution because uh, we can able to get the result quickly uh, using the sort operation uh, it can be decreasing or it can be increasing so it depends on the problem you have to uh, do that or approach the problem uh, in an optimal way now let's uh, dive into the problem first I already mentioned we are going to sort the array so array dot sort and after that we have to store some minimum amount right so I will call it as min diff minimum difference equals equals sys dot max size so this will store the maximum uh, integer in the minimum difference now we are going to iterate the array so how we are going to iterate so for i in range of n minus k plus 1 so as I already mentioned, we have to add plus 1 to it in order to cancel the difference. Now we have to do min diff, min diff equals minimum of min diff comma. Now let's go for the main condition array of i plus k minus 1 and minus array of i so if you trace this uh, problem means let's trace it for here if you sort the array in uh, ascending order so the array will look like this 
so one 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 two 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 so this is the array and here we have k equals to k equals to so we have to pick two numbers right so the first number is array of i this is i and it is in uh, index 0 and for this one I'm going to add i plus k so i plus k means so it will be 2 and minus 1 means this whole index will be in array of 1 so array of 1 is this number so we are going to take only two numbers so it satisfies this condition so we will just take the difference and store it in the minimum and finally we will return this mendif variable so that is the simple logic of this problem we didn't do that much of a uh, coding it just took like a few lines to solve this problem if you go for uh, brute force means you will be like iterating all possible uh, elements but uh, it's not like optimal way it will definitely exceed the time limit now here uh, why I specified like this because array should be in uh, like this i should be in within the range so if I consider 2 means it should go up to this point because if you go for this point means you can't go to this array i plus 1 minus k so it will exceed the index that's why I'm just traversing up to the possible index using this uh, expression so n minus k plus 1 means n is here is 5 n minus k means uh, 3 plus 4 so it will traverse up to uh, so range of 4 means so I just added uh, another uh, array element here so here now range of 4 means it will traverse up to third it will traverse up to third index so 0 1 2 3 and uh, it will calculate this and it will in this loop so that's the logic let's run the code yes we have passed the sample test case let's submit it think it will work yes we have solved the problem successfully if this video is helpful to you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the video to your friends if this is helpful see you guys in the next video